Welcome back to Max Hooks Cooking, y'all. So today is pretty good. We're making ceviche today. My cousin's been bugging me about this for a couple of weeks now. And I'm pretty sure he's the one that left that Facebook comment, or sorry, that YouTube comment about needing, wanting to see the ceviche video. So here it is. All I did was just rinse my fish put in some napkins to dry. So, this is just tilapia fillets. You don't really need any special type of fish for ceviche. Any white fish works pretty well. And this is just what we've you know, used in the past. So in Spanish, we actually call these mojarras and it's, it's the same thing as tilapia from what I've been able to figure out. Uh, so what you want to do is grab your filet and pretty much slice it into small tiny pieces. So we're just going to go as thick as you'd like. Keep in mind, you're going to be putting this on crackers or tostadas. So the finer the pieces, the better it is. I'm going to slice them into somewhat you know on the small medium side not gonna go too fine but also don't want them too chunky and then you're gonna need a bowl and this is about the size that you're looking for about that big You can see these are really diced up. I don't know if the camera is going to be able to focus, but that's pretty much all the dicing you want to do. All right, let me get the rest diced up, and we'll be right back. Welcome back, y'all. So all I did was dice it all up. You can see nice and diced up. And also, I went ahead and cut my lemons, or limes, sorry. In Spanish, they're called limon, so I keep calling these lemons. Even when we're here at the house, I'll call them lemon. Everybody knows how we, what we mean. So, <clears throat> you're going to want to fill your fish, pretty much have it swimming in lime juice. So, it depends how much juice your limes have I have about four pounds here and it's may not be enough they are big but I'm seeing that they're not releasing that much juice so and then also one more thing a lot of people when they when they squeeze lim limes they'll do it like this and then take it out and trash it I actually flip it on its side so ha in half Stick it back in there and look at that. See how much of that juice still felt come out? Yeah. You don't wanna you don't wanna get just let that go to waste. And it's not a big deal if you don't have enough to cover your fish. What you can do is actually halfway into the into the resting cooking process, I guess you would call it. Because we are cooking the fish with lime essentially. So halfway through, it's it's one hour. Then you gotta leave it in lime juice. So halfway through that, so at about 30 minute mark, you may wanna just get it out of the fridge and just swirl it around once or twice just to get, get all your fish nice and coated in lime juice. And I'm not applying any pressure with this pen. All I'm doing is putting it here so that I can cover any lime juice that squeezes through the sides. Just cover it from getting everywhere. Make a big mess. So. And that's pretty good. 
like I said, you may need more than this. You may need less. You may get away, depending on how many, how much you make. Here we had six tilapia fillets, and this is how much we're actually getting made. So let's go ahead and the only thing missing is some salt. Obviously we like it salty. And you just want to mix that in real good. All right. You're gonna wanna cover this. Just put a, what do they call it? Saran wrap over it, the, the plastic over it, and then stick it in the fridge for about an hour. If you didn't get enough lime to cover your all your fish, you're gonna wanna take it out at about the 30 minute mark and just you know stir it just so that your whole fish gets thoroughly cooked. And we'll be back in an hour. Welcome back, y'all. So. I'm getting all the fixings ready that we're gonna add on the to the ceviche. I was getting them off camera and I just wanted to show you. So some people like cucumber to their ceviche. It depends what part of Mexico the restaurant is based out of or what part of Mexico you're from or visiting. They're probably gonna add cucumber. We don't usually add cucumber to our ceviche, but today we are. So just to show you, you peel the cucumber cut it in half and then this you're pretty much going to cut it into small strips and if you cut it you know at a off angle or whatever I mean it's it's no big deal there's nothing to it but once you cut it you're just going to want to and again you can go with as fine or as thick as you'd like This is just how we're gonna do it. All right. We're also going to be adding tomato. And again, this is by preference, depending how, how thick of a cut you want, how fine of a cut you want. I usually cut my tomato in three. So I'll grab it and cut it in three pieces. And then each one of those pieces, I'll do the same thing. I'll come back and slice it into thin strips. Um, tomatoes are a little soggy. It helps a lot to have a sharp knife. I've been using this knife to cook a lot recently. So I may need to resharpen it. I don't really sharpen my knives that often, uh, but this time it looks like I need it better than that. All right, dismiss that. <laughs> We're going to go with this one. You want to cut it into fine strips. Don't pay attention to the dogs. Pretty much it depending on how spicy you like your food you may want to do something else but I'm just adding two jalapenos this is pretty much what we use all the time it's jalapeno it's not a spicy pepper in this form uh, it can be but we've come to real we, you know we realized most of the time it's really not and because this is going to be the ingredient that I dice up the finest. I'm going to want to make thin strips as I can. Okay. 
just my smelling this, I can tell you this one's spicy. <laughs> so, there's that. Not just that. Like I said, I want, I don't want to be eating ceviche and get, you know, a big chunk of jalapeno. I'd rather get it nice and fine. So, I'm just going to keep cutting it into smaller section. You can see how fine that jalapeno is. I don't know if you can see it, but it's really fine. And because I am sharing this with some friends, I don't know how much spicy they, they eat. So I'm not gonna add the other one. I can tell you that one's gonna be spicy though. And then the last thing to add is going to be your avocados. You're gonna to wanna to come cut this in half. And then come back in. Pretty much that's the whole thing up. And if your knife is sharp enough, you may want to come in and cut it in half. Just so that you Avocado is not as chunky. Something that I'm actually going to do with that one. This one's a little bit thinner. Last ingredient I'm gonna go over with y'all is cilantro. So this is already pre-washed from my local grocery store. So I don't need to wash it anymore, but I'm gonna show you the easiest way that you can Cut. What you're gonna want to do is grab it and bundle it up as tight as you can. You can even bend it. Some people don't like that. I'll tell you what. It's hard as it is to cut cilantro, so I bend it and then I just come over and the same thing. This is mostly stems, as you can see. It's mostly stems. So, that's trash. Here's your good cilantro. And I got this out of the fridge. You can see the color that it, it changed color. That's what you want to see. Let me get my spoon. Right. This is pretty good as this. We're gonna make it better though. So, all our fixing, just dump them in there. And then just start mixing it in. Start mixing it in. You want to mix in all of this before you mix in your avocados and your cilantro. You don't want to squish your avocado. So just mix this all in thoroughly. That should be good. Now you're ready. Grab your cilantro. Dump it in there. 
Same thing with your avocado. Your other avocado. We're we're adding two avocados. We really like avocados, so you know. You can add as much or as little as you want. You are gonna see other than that any onions. That's just because we don't like onions. You're more than welcome to add an onion, half an onion, whatever you like. Now, here's a good part. I'm just gonna come in, and mix it all in. Mix it all in. I'll tell you what, it smells so good. This smells really good. That's it, y'all. There you have it. That's how you make ceviche. Don't forget to hit the like button. Leave a comment if you want to see me make any more dishes that you're interested in. Hit the notification bell. Subscribe so you don't miss any more of my videos. And I'll see you in the next Mexican.